Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Chalk Couture ink um, to create this cute little onesie. So with the inks, this is permanent, whereas the paste is going to be removable. So with this permanent, you can put it on anything, you know, pillows, um, clothes, just about anything that you want to be permanent. You could still put it on chalkboards and dry it and have it permanent. So you want to heat set this, and what we're going to do is we're going to heat set it at 350 for 30 seconds with our Easy Press today. We're going to be using these two inks today, the Eucalyptus right here is this really nice green. I really love it. It's super cute. Love it. And then we're going to be using the, the black velvet. Okay. You guys a little trick I ordered, I think I've got, but they're not going to be here till tomorrow, but I wanted to play with this so, so much. So we'll do another video using other colors and stuff. Um, but I wanted to show you a trick because I did order the mats, which, you know, have like an adhesive that kind of helps you to put inside the shirt to keep it still and um as well as you know protects the other side of the shirt from getting ink on it but i don't have that today because that order is not in yet so what i decided to do was take an old um cricket mat this one was a 12 by 24 and at one point i had cut it down so you guys can see the top missing there a little bit jagged but this is one of my older ones and you know if you clean these with um, the awesome spray from the Dollar Tree I have a video I may try to link it down below it'll bring the stick back on these now you can either a use a brand new mat and just designate it to this or you could use an old mat instead of tossing it out so I'm just using an old mat now if you were using a bit doing a bigger shirt you'd want to leave this hole but since i'm doing a onesie i just cut it directly in half just right in half with my scissors and if i was doing something even smaller i could even cut it down more and use more so i'm going to you know cut the plastic in half and then cover this up and save it for another time but now i can designate this and write on it and have it for my um, inking for my chalk couture all i did was just slide that down in there and you can see how that's sticking so that way it's going to hold this completely still while i ink it and then it's going to protect the opposite side of the shirt for the transfer today I want to use the little camper that comes with the um, camper set so this is a small one so we're going to use it and then we're going to use the big word um, happy camper but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half we're going to put happy up here and then camper down at the bottom so what I think I want to do is do the camper first we're going to do it in that eucalyptus like this love it and then we're going to do the happy camper in the black okay have to dry in between because this is not like your your paste where it's going to dry really fast this is just a great way I wanted to point this out is you know you may not be into getting into the chalk paste doing the chalkboards and all that stuff but you may be into the inks so if you're into screen printing like i showed you the diy screen printing with your um using the screen and then vinyl i'll have that video linked down below you can use these inks so you don't have to order like i was showing speedball before you could order these there's tons and tons of color so it's just a nice um addition or somewhere to uh to purchase your inks for doing screen printing whether it's going to be diy icon art stencils or whether it's going to be the chalk couture i do recommend joining due to the fact that you are going to save 40 percent every time you order so instead of paying the full price for the inks and you can order one at a time it doesn't matter um you're going to save 40 percent each time Plus, whenever you first join, you will get a 50% off coupon um, that you can use. So you can use 50% off of the total. So that's pretty cool. So you can order just all of your inks at one time. And they're going to continue over time to add more stencils and add more color. So it's just something to think about. If you want to join my team, the links will be below. If you just want to order some of the inks through the store, that'll be linked below as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to figure out where my placement's going to be. So say that I have this here and then I'm going to have the happy and I don't want that too close high up. So maybe something like this, right? And then we can have the camper down here. So I just need to make sure I think with this line I'm gonna make sure it's kind of right here under the armpit. So I'm just coming down just a little bit and that's how I'm going to know where that's at. You could always take a little bit of washi tape and then make your mark right there so you know where to line it back up at. So I could do that on both sides like so, just like that. And that way I know where I wanna place that back. Got a pan of water over here to set these in. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back. I don't need to fuzz these because it's going on to a shirt. So I'm not even gonna fuzz them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just carefully 
lay this down, trying to stay as straight as possible. If I don't get it right, I can pull it back up and do it again. So I'm gonna go right about there. I think that looks good. I'm gonna smooth everything out. Make sure there's no air bubbles. So I'm just smoothing everything out, making sure that's on there really well where it can't get underneath. You can then take your squeegee if you wanted to and really make sure you smooth that out. It really helps having that mat underneath um, to you know have something to kind of push against if that makes sense. And double check before I get started, double check the placement of my camper and my happy to make sure I'm happy with that. So it looks good to me, so I'm gonna proceed forth. So I think I'm gonna start with my um, small squeegee here because we have the small one and the one that's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna start with what they consider the small. I think I'm gonna start calling this my large one. I know they're this big scraper, but we're gonna now change this to the big one. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in here, getting a little bit on my squeegee, and I'm gonna start dragging this across. Right now at this point, I'm gonna go back, making sure everything is covered, and pulling off any excess, wiping it back into the jar. I'm gonna go ahead at this point and peel this off. So make sure there's nothing on your hands when you go to do this. So that way you don't get any ink on your shirt. Gonna get a spot started and I want to try to pull straight across or straight down so I'm gonna to try to pull straight down all right so that looks really good I'll bring it up so you guys can see it a lot better so there you go super cute I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to try to dry it with my um, hair dryer really quick and then I'm going to heat set it. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and heat set it. In order to do that I need to remember to pull this out. I don't want to melt it. Um, and the reason, I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and try to layer over this is I'm afraid the ink, since it's not sealed, well, heat set, I guess you want to say, since it's not heat set, I don't want it to risk getting off onto my other transfer. I'm going to go ahead and cover this with um, parchment paper. Um, and this is just the one from the store, the baking one, or you can use your Teflon sheet. Set my um, easy press, and I'm going to be using the little one. So what I'm going to do is get this on here and hit go. All right, so there we go. We've got it um, heat set now. So now I don't have to worry about layering on top of this and anything pulling off. Get happy down. Same thing. I'm just going to kind of peel from the side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right about there. I'm gonna go ahead and work this down, making sure there's no air bubbles. And as you can see, the two peas come over the camper and I'm happy with that. I just wanted it as close as possible. So I'm just gonna get that down, like I said, making sure there's no air bubbles, everything's smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the campers as well. So I'm gonna do these at the same time. You don't have to work as quickly with this as you do with the chalk. Um, you got a little bit more room to work with, so you can go ahead and do two things at the same time. All right. Once again, I'm gonna take my squeegee just to be safe, making sure there's no air bubbles, everything is completely smooth. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip down in, I'm gonna double check my space here. I think I can work with one of these, this size here, and that's what I'm gonna do. So you always wanna kinda of check that first before you get too crazy. I think it'd just be easier to work with um, 
with this size here. So that's what I'm gonna do, it just kinda covers it quicker. Now we're ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our black ink. I'm gonna open it away from the shirt so that way if, if there's any little crust or anything on the side, they don't fall on there. And I'm gonna set this down here, once again, being very careful um, not to get any off of the transfer that I don't want because we're not gonna get that off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip right in. this one off really quick so I'm going to try to come from the side this time once again double check you don't have any ink on your fingers smooth that back out you can kind of see when I go to peel it's peeling away from my mat underneath that's no big deal I just nice and easy smooth that back out go ahead and get the campers making sure nothing falls over on itself. The curtain's black as well, so I'm gonna leave that there. It's no big deal, so we're gonna leave them. Same thing, I'm going to smooth to make sure there's no way nothing can seep out. And get that on there. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully peel these. I try to hold the shirt down as still as possible. So super cute. Dry it with my hair dryer once again. So we're gonna do the same thing where we want to pull our mat out. So I'm just gonna very carefully push like this. just like that and then I'm gonna pull that out you can see where some of that ink had got through and you wouldn't want that to get on the back side taking my easy press mat I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down on here just like so all right so what we need to do is I'm gonna get this portion here and then get this portion here I'm gonna put down my parchment paper and we're gonna go ahead and get it all right we're gonna do it one more time There we go. Now it's heat set and it's completely safe to wash. Look how cute this is. I'll zoom it in. Like I said, you don't have to think about just doing the chalkboard. You can do the ink or if you like both, you can do both. I also wanted to show you, it's super smooth. Like there is no, the thing I love about um, like screen printing is like with layers of vinyl, you can fill it. You know, I really love how smooth this is. There's no thickness, no bubble. I mean, it's just like it's one with a shirt. I absolutely love it. Um, but that's pretty much it. And like I said, it's completely safe to wash now. Um, you can see how movable that is. So um, love it, super excited. Absolutely in love with the way this came out. And like I said, you can reuse this transfer over and over and over and over again. So um, you can create a ton of these for your little boutique or whether you're making one for a friend or whatever it may be. So once again, uh, the links are down below, whether you want to join, that way you can save the 40% off, the one time 50% off, or whether you just want to purchase some, um, it's totally up to you. But like I said, the links are down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.